What's up guys? I got another stamp design video and we're talking about the mummy cat. So DGU asked me if I wanted to do a Halloween design and <sighs> see, it's hard for me. I like Halloween, it's fun, but I don't really like doing holiday designs. I don't mind doing what I've called holiday adjacent, where it's right there like in the theme of things, but I don't want to write Happy Halloween. I don't want to write Merry Christmas. I don't want to write any of that stuff on there. I just kind of want to make something that's in the right feel for the holiday and then it can be associated with the holiday or not. So Halloween, everybody always does pumpkins and I've done pumpkins too, but man, I just didn't want to do another pumpkin design. So I dug into my history of things that I like and I absolutely love Egyptology. Taken several college courses on it and... I have lots of Egyptology books in the house and several statues and things like that. I've sculpted some canopic jar lids. I, I just love all things Egypt and history. And I love kind of like monster movies, and The Mummy is a popular universal monster movie. So I put the two together, and I decided to make kind of like an Egypt slash mummy theme stamp for Halloween because, I mean, that's, a, that's one of your stereotypical costumes. But of course I had to do a sphinx cat because it's Egypt. So I wrapped him up like a mummy and put him inside a room with lots of little hieroglyphs on the wall behind him. The canopic jars... Uh, somebody's going to call me on this, so I'll explain myself. There are four types of canopic jars. The three that I drew, one of the canopic jar lids is close to being right. The The falcon head that I drew is actually Horus, but the canopic jar is Cabasinweff, and you might confuse one for the other. Horus is more of a falcon, Cabasinweff is more of like a uh, hawk, so you should be able to tell those apart. But Anubis, which is on the ground behind the cat, and uh, Bastet, the cat head that is beside the cat. Those two are not traditional canopic jar lids. The reason I decided to do them was because, I mean, it made sense to have a cat head on one of the jars. Again, that's Bastet, the cat god. And the other one is Anubis lying on the ground behind him. The reason I decided to do Anubis was because, well, for two reasons. The cat, being a cat, knocked the jar over because that's what cats do. And, of course, it was the dog-headed jar that he knocked over because cats and dogs seem like low-hanging fruit. The other reason is that Anubis, the dog-headed god, is the god of death. And him knocking over the dog-headed jar kind of symbolizes the power he has over death to come back to life and be like a, an undead mummy cat. So I know those aren't the right heads for the canopic jars. But I decided to do it anyway for the reasons I just told you. And then the other thing I was going to point out is that the hieroglyphs on the wall behind him are from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I basically traced a passage out of the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I did, however, modify some of the hieroglyphs that you see back there. So the sharp-eyed observer will notice that I tweaked the hieroglyphs 50. 15 different times, 16 different times. I don't know. I have to go check, but it's in that area. So there you go. Go on a hunt. See if you can find all 15 or 16. That's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoy this design. I am absolutely going to love throwing it because it's on a polecat and you can't stop me. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time. Bye.